Welcome to the chapter summary of the complement system. And in this section, we will summarize everything we learned so far. The proteins of the complement systems are made all in the liver and uh, some other cells. The functions are opsonization. You remember the opsonizing agents, the C3B and IgG, IgM. Then we had the chemotactic agents that caused chemotaxis going to the injured area. The examples were C5A and the other ones from arachidonic acid and other cytokine called leukotriene B4 and interleukin 8. For cell lysis, what was the major component? Yes, MAC, membrane attack complex that uh, penetrated and formed the pore on the surface of the pathogen. What type of uh, classification did we have on the complement system? We had the classical, alternative, and lectin pathways. Which one was the one that was dependent on antibody? If you said classic, then you're correct. The classical is the only way, and that makes it a part of the adaptive immunity. The classical complement pathway had another major difference, which were it had a component called C1. This one did not divide into C1A or C1B. This one activated C uh, C4 and C2, becoming C4B and C2B. Together they formed C3 convertase, and C3 convertase together with C4 and C2 formed C5 convertase that eventually formed MAC complex. MAC complex was the final common pathway. In the lectin pathway, we had the LPS or endotoxin that was found on the surface of gram-negative bacteria, uh, circulating C3B, bonded to it, and factor, then factor D cleaved factor B into BB and BA. C3B and BB form C3 convertase. C3B, BB, and C3B form C5 convertase, and the final common pathway continued. The final pathway was the lectin pathway in the case that there was uh, no endotoxin or antibody present, but another molecule on the surface of the bacteria called mannose or manan, which bonded uh, to manan binding lectin found in your circulation and with help of manan binding lectin uh, associated serine proteases, which worked as C, uh, similar to C1 in the classical pathway, initiated uh, C4 and C2 and continued the same pathway as classical pathway. Uh, the regulating factors were propertine in the alternative pathway, which held together C3B and BB for inducing the alternative pathway, and its counteracting mechanism was by factor H and factor I, which downregulated the alternative pathway. Diseases associated. C1 esterase inhibitor deficiency. C1 esterase inhibitor deficiency caused an overstimulation of the classical pathway, which increased the level of anaphylatoxins, which induced mast cells to, uh, to release extra amount of histamine and serotonin that caused vasodilation and um, increased perme permeability, which induced edema. This one was found in kids and it could be lethal by laryngeal obstruction. C2 and C4 deficiency were associated with SLE. SLE will be covered in the autoimmune diseases chapter. MAC components, uh, deficiency in any type of MAC components, increase the risk for gram-negative bacteria, especially nizeral infection. Nocturnal hemoglobinuria was another important disease in which there was a defect in PIGA gene, which caused a defected GPI anchoring protein in which you would fi find a DK accelerating factor and protectin, also known as uh, CD59 and CD55, which downregulated the complement system in case of attack by complements to your own uh, blood cells. But the defect in them caused uh, hemoglobinuria together with leukouria and uh, thrombocyturia. And I explained in the previous video in detail what happened actually. Then we had also some IgA disturbances and those included the IgA nephropathy also known as Brecher syndrome, Durings disease also known as 
dermatitis herpatiformis and henoxylian purpura and check the video again to recognize how to differentiate it from other purpural diseases. And we had some bacteria such as Streptococcus pyogenes which produced a protein called M protein that destroyed C3 convertase and that was one of the ways a bacteria can evade the complement system. Thank you.